internet all right so in the last section we actually retrieved the data from the database and we displayed it using future builder so in the next section uh yep yeah in this section actually we are going to see how to delete it by clicking on this button the to do will be deleted completely right okay let's do that real quick so to do that you're going to go over to the details page okay uh, which is where this stuff is right now and now you can see this icon button so what we are going to be doing we are still going to wrap because this icon button we have already created the provider class here so just the way we added a new to do that's the same way we are going to delete an existing to do so i will wrap this stuff now with a consumer widget still using the same method we used so the consumer widget i'll wrap it with this with a widget binding okay so this is delete tax to do import the provider and also import the delete tax provider and import the message as well all right so we are good if the response is not equal to an empty string they will show any message at all and then uh, delete the tax so now inside this uh, icon button i need to do some twerking um, because we didn't really we are not using any custom widget so uh, by default once you have clicked on this button it's not permitted that the user clicks on it again until the request is complete right so what we need to do we just have to use the delete so we are go going to check for a condition so if the list tag dot get status so if it's equal to true what we just need to do is just to return null else then return the function right so if it's if it's null, the user will not be able to click or tap or do anything then the color we need to change it to gray right so we're going to exchange if the delete tags dot get status so if it's equal to true that means it's loading then we can just return gray else return white yep that was it and then inside here simple thing we just need to do we just call delete delete tax dot delete tax and then the tax id remember we're actually passing it from the constructor so we are going to get it from here so we have our tax id so widget tax id and then we can pass in your contest as well all right awesome right and this is cool okay so once a to do is deleted you are supposed to navigate back to the home page yep yeah once a to do is deleted we are supposed to navigate back to the home page so i think i'll just have to refresh everything so inside here once the status is 200 i'll just call my navigator.push and I think I did that inside my splash screen. So instead of uh, doing the same thing over and over again, I'm just going to copy this home page. Uh, in your case, you might do navigator.pop and then refetch the data again, but I just want to open the page completely new again. So I will go to the tax, delete tax provider. Right here, I'm going to do this. Uh, this contest, did I pass contest? Okay, CTS, that's the name. I didn't use contest okay so i will change import this one also import the home page as well so now we can uh, save this so watch what happens i'm going to delete this now it's to change to gray and once it's deleted we have tax deleted successfully and it takes us to the home page with just this item all right so if we click on this one again delete it watch what will happen tax deleted successfully and we'll have to do list is empty all right so let's add a new to do hello world and save task created successfully okay but now the let's go back it's not actually updating with time except we maybe call set state or stuff like that or we refresh our widget but yeah that's when it fetched but that's your tax i uh, see how to make this stuff change with time like to refresh the data again once you come that back to that page right yeah that's your tax you have to do it yeah you must do it okay so that is all for this tutorial i guess but now observe now if i want to add another data it won't really give us that permission that is because the time is still the same as the other one so with this now we now have to you can see tax is overlapping with the other previous one so to actually fix this now we have to go back to the code and then change this time this start time enter and remainder period so for your own case if you want to add multiple data you have to create another uh, feed and that feed is going to be to select the date time select the start time and the end time you're going to be use date time picker for that and then once you select it you can pass it to this uh 
this uh, function okay this uh, body yeah like the way we are passing title but you might encounter some error okay so I'm going to also put you might encounter some error converting that date time which is that flutter date time to go land date time so I'll be putting a link in the description below for you guys to see how to convert that date time okay to to go land is a package actually on pub.dev and I also have it in my github repository so I'm going to put that in the description below uh, basically from the introduction and also in this video so you guys are going to see all of that okay yeah that's it so uh, this is everything guys I wanted to show you and I so much appreciate your time and I believe you guys have actually learned a lot from this course yeah so if you have any challenge if you have any issues don't forget to hit me up uh, put it in the comment section below and I will do my best to actually uh, get back to you and I so much appreciate your time this is more like uh, one long uh, year that I've done and all smiling and just excited but it's cool you know yeah it's it's cool it's cool we, we, we have learned a lot we have done a lot already and uh, yep we have done a lot so I I hope to see you in the next video I just see just as soon let me just stop <laughs> you know but that's all guys thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe share and also uh, there's a lot of flutter developers that need a solution like this so please uh don't forget to share to them and i will see you in the next video